Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is me, the Tsukufato, and today we're going to be chatting about what front-end developers actually do. Because you won't believe it guys, I've heard some people say that they don't even know if front-end developers are really developers. But we'll get into all of that. So if you enjoy this video and find it helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. If you still have any questions after the video, please feel free to drop them in the comment section. And please do subscribe guys, we are on the road to 30k. And yeah, let us actually get into it. Alright guys, so let us actually get into it. So for those that don't know, I am a front-end developer and I've been working specifically as a React Native developer for the past two and a half years, which is actually my whole career. And React Native is a JavaScript framework that allows you to write cross-platform applications using one code base. So what that means is that you can write iOS and Android applications and only have to code ones. I'll touch a bit more on frameworks a bit later in the video, but for now, let us actually get into today's topic. What do front-end developers actually do? So front-end developers work with what the users can see on a website or an application. So what do the users see and how they interact with it, which means we work very closely with designers as well as back-end developers. So the designers would design the like website or application, so you know how it looks and everything, so what goes where. I do know of some front-end developers that also do some design work, but personally I don't do that. And that is not really in the scope but I do know that some people do it. So the designer would, you know, create the design. So, you know, the structure, the styling, the colors, everything, the designer would do all of that. And then we have to take that design and implement it in code. So everything that they've done, we implement that in code. So all the buttons, the colors, everything, it would actually look the same. Like if you're looking at this, uh, the design and you're looking at the implementation of that website application, it looks the same. But now we have like, this is a real button, this is a real text input and stuff like that. But now we have all of that, but what happens when you actually click on all of the different things? We need some interactivity. And that's when the back end would come in. So the front end needs to communicate with the back end so that they can actually happen. So we would communicate usually using API calls. So we send some information to the back end and the back end responds with some more information and then we know what's the next step. So let's say you send us the wrong credentials. So we take that and send it to the back end and then the back end would respond like no these are the wrong credentials and then we need to now display that error message or something on the front end so that's basically what front end developers do if you can see clearly that we are kind of the glue that's putting everything together <laughs> if i do say so myself but yeah that's like a brief uh, explanation of what front end developers do and in this process they have to make sure that they're optimizing the performance and you know you don't want to press a button and then you don't see or it takes like five minutes to actually respond and you don't see what's happening and i keep clicking so the performance needs to be optimized and everything needs to you know be working in a way that makes when it comes to front-end development there are so many frameworks and libraries that exist to make our lives easier like I said I use React Native and I've been using it for the past two and a half years there are many others like uh, Vue.js, Angular, React and that's just to name a very few like when it comes to front-end development there's always new trends new libraries new frameworks and you know it's good to stay on top of things and always be learning but I also think it's very good to always make sure that you know you know the basics when it comes to coding that's why I've really been enjoying learning on Brilliant and doing their fun and easy courses and Brilliant is actually the sponsor of today's video they are a platform where you can learn math data science and computer science concepts in a fun and interactive way I've recently been doing their creative coding course, which is actually one of their new courses. They add new courses every month and I've really been enjoying it. 
it's things that I am very familiar with and use every day. But as I say, learning the basics is super important. So it's just been good to know, like, okay, variables, loops, whatever. I'm like, okay, I still know this. I still got this. <laughs> you know, those are the very basics. But I just like the refresher and the fun and interactive way to learn. And if you'd like to try out Brilliant, you can use my link, which is brilliant.org slash Tsukhafato. And you'll get the first 30 days free and 20% off a premium subscription so be sure to cool. make use of it. And that is it for today's video. It was meant to you know just answer the question about what front-end developers actually do. So I really hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe we're on the road to 30k and if you still have any other questions be sure to drop them in the comment section and I will answer those and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye! I'm gonna watch it, watch it, watch it